Sun's out. Yeah, she's turning out nice. Uh, you want to hit Skaha Park? Sure, let's go. All right. Hey man, so we're at the Skaha Beach Park. It's a beautiful spot and a little bit of a clouds, but hey, the main reason I wanted to uh, take a few minutes with you is to, people ask me, who's that Dave guy in the office? What do you do? So tell us, what are you? Uh, okay, so job title, I guess. Um, inside sales agent. I'm, okay. a, I'm actually a licensed client care manager is, is my okay. actual title. So that's what they'll be seeing as far as emails, texts, phone calls. Okay. So uh, inside sales agent, describe that. What is that role? Please. Generally, um, I'm that guy that's behind the scenes. So I take all the, the lead gen um, leads coming in. I basically reach out to them, start to work to establish a relationship with new house. Um, and, and realistically save time for those uh, agents out in the field as far as um, all that back end uh, work that's going on. So for everybody who doesn't know what's lead gen is, so lead generation, and I guess maybe some people think that it's a cold calling or something, but really you don't call call. You, uh, you call people who either inquired with us or left us a message or maybe visited our website and set up a property search, right? Yeah, so anybody that's requesting um, any type of valuation uh, for a potential listing, um, all types of buyer's inquiries, so yes. sign calls, things like that, as well as anybody that hits our website and comes in and uh, signs up for our website and our services. So yeah, okay. anybody like that that I'm I'm reaching out to and, and trying to connect with. Yeah, and I love watching you at work, man. Uh, often I hear you talking to people in the neighboring office in our uh, new house office and uh, the conversations that you're having with those people, with those buyers are phenomenal. You connect with them, you you have a, an act for for naturally to connect with people over the phone, which is hard because you are eliminating that face-to-face -face, uh, contact, which we as humans really rely on to judge the person if we trust them and if they are trustworthy, if they, uh, you know, honest and etc. So you're really good what do you do on the phone with those people connecting with them? How do you do that, man? Um, I, th I think for me, it's, it's, I really love having conversations with people, figuring out who they are, what they're after, and most importantly, why. Like, there's just so many Thanks. whys to, to, I mean, you're, you're making a, a transaction that's, it, it's large dollar figures these days, and it's it's maybe a, a big thing in their piece of their life. Um, so you just you have to figure out all the whys, and that's that's the fun part. Okay, all right. We got a guest here. We got a <laughs> duck right uh, right uh, at our feet here. But anyways, maybe he'll jump in the camera. Yeah, he thinks one of us is a quack. <laughs> <laughs> nice. So uh, you you hit a nail in the head. Uh, but tell me that you like to find out what's their why, and how do you do that? How do you find out their why? Um. You know, honestly, active listening. So nice. <laughs> have some conversations with them. You 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 really have to figure out. You, and the easy part is that they're coming here, or they're they're interested in coming yeah. here. But you know, if you went down the rabbit hole of you know how many bedrooms, how many bathrooms, what physically are you after? A lot of the times, what those people are after is something that they would want where they are now, and and the why is more important because that tells you what may suit them here based on what our landscape is and what homes in our mm -hmm. area are like they're not you know if you're coming from you know the farmland areas of of canada then you know you get the rancher flat land space to the neighbors we're in a valley so yeah. land is at a premium flat land is even more at a premium mm -hmm. so you know that's the why is the why do you want that oh well i have bad knees okay well there's lots of other options yeah, so yeah. it's that breaking down of of who they are and, and why they're after something okay and like i said man i love watching you do your craft and you're really good at it so that's working with buyers and potential sellers mm -hmm. you you have that discovery conversation i've seen you nurture those people who inquired with us anywhere from six to 18 months that's mm -hmm. pretty incredible i mean how can you do that how can you nurture somebody for 18 months and you're not working with one client you're working literally with thousands of people i think for me it's it's all about the client i really don't have a timeline in mind when i when i pick up the phone and talk to somebody their timelines could dictate that they have to transact within 60 days 
but some people have a hard date and this is where you do discovery pieces that they're retiring in two years but they're long planners mm -hmm. they want to know what neighborhoods they could potentially be looking at not necessarily the the price and what it's going to cost them because they know they're coming in two years so i take that time to figure that out okay so if they're coming in two years are you just like what sticky notes uh journaling or something like <laughs> no. that or what, what, what are you using to keep the, keep yeah, the nurturing process the, the cursed dreaded uh computers uh remind me to check in on them all the time okay. and honestly you know some days I make a lot of phone calls in a day and sometimes it's just nice yeah, to like pick up. Like literally, like you up to what, 50 calls a day? Yeah, probably like 40, so, 50 calls a yeah. day plus texts, emails. Yeah, yeah. Um, I make videos weekly. So it's it's funny that, you know, two months into a, a relationship, we'll call it, um, they a lot of people know me better than I know them because they see my videos every week. They're They're interacting with those and by the time I get them on the phone and they're really close to being handed off, they, they're very open. It's it's like we're long lost friends, and to hand it off to a, to an agent is a very easy transition. Yeah, and I was just gonna say handoff. You mean passing them on onto an agent who is actually now gonna go physically with them, show houses, you know, have a consultation, maybe step into and negotiate uh, on yeah. the deal, right? Yeah, yeah, like the the team members or the partners, as I like to call them. They're I'll refer to them as the out the door agents because that's what I'm hoping that they have t more time to do. Mm -hmm. So the more showings they can, they can have the more listing appointments they can have and time to, to negotiate on contracts, the better it is experience for those uh, clients that they're working with then. But I'm also developing more and taking on some of that, that pre-work before they're in the car with the mm -hmm. agent. Okay. So All right. it's, it, it's just a better experience for the client overall. So now we, Talked about a client who a potentially buyer or a seller. Now mm -hmm. I see and I know that it would be just an absolute phenomenal asset for somebody who is a new agent or an you know veteran agent coming in onto a team with somebody like yourself in that role. Because you know, especially if you're a new agent, we know the stats between anywhere four to six months before the agent makes their first deal. Yeah. Um, what's the benefit, I guess, for having somebody like yourself for a new agent? So eight, typically, yeah, you're right with those stats. And if you think what most people think, well, they're not going to do a transaction for six months um, and they'll make nothing. But truly, they're actually going to, it's going to cost them money for those six months. So they're actually going to be going backwards. Um, with our systems in place and what I do, I, I don't, always have assigned agents to clients until they're they're close to ready to go and then it's a timing thing so maybe maybe you're tied up all saturday and the only day they can view properties on a saturday well i can easily put them into one of the other team members on the team and for that new agent i've got those leads that are at that maturity point where they're ready to be in cars and and they're likely to transact in the next 30 to 60 days based on what they're looking for um so i i'm really shortening down that period of of negative income mm -hmm. for a new agent mm -hmm. um for a veteran agent it's the same thing it's they can confidently hand off a lot of their clients to me and know that i'm going to nurture them i'm going to to find them what they're after all the questions everything like that while that agent is spending more time doing what doing they're good at doing the out the door, the contracts, everything like that. And then when their client's ready, I just hand them back. Mm -hmm. I, it's just, here you go. Yeah. They're ready to go. I've booked some showings. You know, they're really interested so, in this property. What I'm hearing you saying, you can create a um, couple of things for an agent. And not everybody is just in real estate looking to make more deals as an agent. Some agents, they want to do X amount of deals. Maybe it's you know, 10, 15. Some agents want to do 50. But some agents maybe want to do 35 and have lots of free time. And it sounds like yeah. you'd be able to create that for them. Yeah, when you when you take it away like that, my job is all about time. It's, it's either making more time to drive more business or making more time to spend time with family mm -hmm. and, and produce the same um, with that much less 
effort, I guess, okay. or okay. the ability to, to spend more quality time with clients and family. Yeah, yeah. Okay. What's Share with us, what's your background uh, and where did you come from? Why did you join uh, the new house? Before this, I'd say like my major background is 12 years in the credit union uh, system in BC. Yeah, that's why so, it's really those conversations you're having really helpful for our buyers. So you can help them. Uh, yeah, understanding the, the the as much as I'm not licensed to, to do anything on the lending side of it, I understand the process and the process basics. and and the steps and the time involved and and really they find it a, a huge benefit that way. Yeah. Um, so 12 years of doing that, I was coaching mortgage lenders for for quite a while, and then I had my mortgage brokerage. Uh, license prior to that mm -hmm. so yeah it's 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 great you definitely have very deep conversations with them and because you are licensed you're allowed to do that so mm -hmm. um why did you choose new house um so coming to new house was um what i i'm after my own family time as well so for me um seeing that that outside agent um constantly hours on end, um, chasing for that next deal to put food on the family. Um, for me and my place in my life and my family's life, I needed that structured. Um, I mean, I, I do put in my 12 hours a day, seven days a week. And they're long days, but, but I've got that flexibility that if my daughter has a, a band concert, I can, I can disappear for an hour and a half during the day knowing I've got Everything covered. And Everything there. covered, and having my team around me as well. So, as much as an agent benefits from me um, and my time usage, I've got our director of operations and our admin assistant um, there to help me on the contractual side or um, any sort of those admin tasks that that they can take off my plate, so that I can just continue to have better yeah, conversations yeah. with people. Okay, so it's it's a nice balance in the office. It's it's I love the team atmosphere. That, that was a big thing. That's good. Um, hey, I appreciate your time, man. I got to tell you, every single client that you teed off and you help them get to the point where they're ready to go tour with me or with uh, other agents in the office, they unanimously say that their experience, the beginning of the journey with New House, been nothing but absolutely great. And it's all thank to you because you get them on the right track. You are. You know, you you patient with them. You help them understand the, the process of transaction. You help them understand of the area that they're looking at. You are always sharing the good, the bad, and the ugly mm -hmm. with people on the phone, yeah. and they really, really appreciate that. So, uh, from the bottom of my heart, we will love you as our business partner in the office, and I want to thank you for doing a fantastic job. Like alone, uh, David, um, this year he is gonna line up 40 deals for a new house team, probably, hopefully. I think maybe we're gonna push him to 50 and stuff, but uh, he's a critical um, piece of our team and we really lucky to have you on the team. Thanks so much for your time, man. Thank you.